Hi ladies, thanks for joining me today. Today this video is going to be an how to remove the frizz from your curly wigs, your curly afro styled wigs. This is a weekly maintenance that I do on this wig. This wig is the Miko wig and I reviewed this wig back, I think it was March 27th and um April 27th made 30 days of me wearing this wig. I, this is the only wig I've worn in the last uh, month and a half. So today is roughly about the second week of May. And um, so yeah, I've been wearing this about a month and a half now. And what I've been doing to keep it looking refreshed and, and keeping the natural curl pattern visible is I've been trimming away a lot of the frizz that this wig creates. And this is the natural curl pattern right here. Let me just move my hand. Let's do that for you. That's the natural curl pattern. This is the reason why we bought this wig. Look at that beautiful curl pattern. But what's been happening is that just from daily wear, finger finger styling, poofing up a little bit, that this wig does get more frizzier. And so I've been removing a lot of the frizz. Let me show you right here. I've been removing a lot of the frizz over the last month and a half. And uh, so this is what accumulates on the outer side of the wig, in the inside, underneath. And it just makes the wig look older and it doesn't make it look as nice as it did when we bought it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you just how to remove that. It's very quick, it's easy, it's simple. You don't have to worry about destroying your wig. If you follow these instructions, you won't do that. And uh, let me just show you what you'll need to do that with. You'll need a pair of scissors. I'm going to be using these scissors today because I can't find my cutting shears that I use to remove the lace from my wig. But these scissors are just as good. So if you have scissors similar to this, or any type of scissors it's really good just use what you have and use what you feel comfortable with I'm also going to show you how to remove the frizz by using this hair cutter comb so if you have these at home you can use this also this is very good as a matter of fact sometimes I like using this this is much um, quicker and more efficient uh, especially if you need to work a little bit faster if you're, if you're trying to squeeze something this this job in between something else you're doing this this works really well. You can get these combs from the beauty supply store. They come in different colors and this comb runs between $1.99 and I think $2.49. So you'll find, don't be alarmed if you find this comb for different prices. Just shop where you get the best price. Um, we're also going to need some duck build clips and I'm going to be using two of them just to hold sections of the hair apart while I cut away the frizz. And last, this is optional, after you've removed all the frizz from your wig, you may want to just give it a little bit of shine and you can do this with this wig and, and braid a spray sheen. This one is by a company called Natty and it says for natural and synthetic hair. And this size is a four ounce bottle and I got this for $129 and again from beauty supply store to beauty supply store I've seen this run for different prices so again just shop where you know you can get the best price so I'm going to begin by just holding some of the well first you have to find out where your frizz is now I guess you can kind of tell I have a lot of frizz here in the front it looks kind of frizzy in the front right along here so I'm going to start working from the front first but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold back some of the hair with the duckbill clip. And I'm doing that because I want to try to get inside also of the wig, inside the curls. So that's where a lot of the frizz is occurring also. So I'm just going to hold back that piece for now. And I'm going to just show you all exactly what it is I'm going to do. Let me move in just a little bit. Now with your fingers, you want to find the hair that looks really frizzy, that's um, different from the natural curl pattern of the wig. And that's always very easy to identify because it just looks fuzzy and frizzy and it has doesn't have a defined curl pattern. And here, here, and I'm going to ask you not to work in big chunks 
just take small bits at a time so that you don't cut away any of your natural curl to your wig and you want to just kind of pull that frizzy part and as you can see we've got some frizz right here let me just show you if you can see that well, this is it right here and you just want to just lift it up and pull it away from the rest of the hair as, all, as, as if you're going down to the roots and so with the hair cutter I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is just take the hair hold it taut you can wrap it around if you want to hold it nice and tight and just cut downward so you're going to just and it doesn't matter which side you use because it, it as you watch this video I'm going to be using either side of this hair cutter so to me it doesn't really matter you want to cut downward and you'll hear the hair cutting and breaking away from the rest of the wig and there's your frizz and just make sure you have a bag or something that you can just dump the frizz hair into because you don't want to get that all over the place and again here's some more and let me just make sure I am in the camera for you all here's another piece again you know the frizz is different from the, nat the, the rest of the hair because of the curl pattern here's a piece of hair that has a natural curl pattern that beautiful wavy curl pattern that we bought this wig for well we know our frizzy pieces don't look like that they just look fuzzy and un ratted looking so this is what I'm going to cut away Okay. again I'm going to use the hair cutter comb cut downward just like that and cutting downward you can't cut the hair that's here because the hair has to be inside the comb for you to cut it. If you wanted to, if you felt a little bit uncomfortable cutting downward you can always cut upward. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm just opening up the wig going in the inside so that I can remove a lot of the frizz that's inside there and we have some frizz inside this Miko wig right here so as you become accustomed to doing this you can put that away because that's hair that has a definite curl pattern you might have to pull it away because right about now all that frizzy hair gets all wrapped around the natural curl of the wig so we want to take it and you can cut upward if you like. So we're going to do it going upward. Okay. Just like that. And again, there's your hair. So I am going to show you how to do this using scissors. I like using the scissors also. Use a comb if you like. I don't recommend it and uh, don't use a brush either just kind of use your fingers it's easier to use your fingers just to get a hold of all this frizz and now with the scissors and again pull the hair away from the rest of the hair making sure that it's far away from almost you're going to cut downward as if you're cutting towards the cap so here's the hair right here and I'm going to use these scissors now and I'm going to and you can cut in an upward motion if you like like this going upward or you could use a downward motion cutting if you like so now we're going to I'm going to cut in an upward motion pulling the hair pulling it taut and then removing it and here's the hair right here Okay, so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to finish up this wig and I'm going to get back to you and show you the finished results. See how nice it's going to look. And that trimming that we did by removing the frizz, that should last about four to five days until you recheck it again to see if there is any more frizz being created. So I'm going to get back to you when I finish. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I'm finished removing a lot of the frizz don't worry if you can't remove everything because you know all the frizz because that's going to be like you're going to be working forever and it'll be impossible but this let me show you how much i did remove from this one session 
this is how much frizz was either on top of the hair or underneath inside and that's why I want you guys to look you know you should your clips to hold up the hair and then go inside and just remove the frizz so now this Mika wig has made with a lot of tracks so don't worry about making if you think it's cutting away the frizz is going to make it look smaller or shorter that's not going to happen there's a lot of hair here as you can see and this is my at least my third time since I've had this wig using this method to remove the frizz and I get a lot each time but as you can see the wig just doesn't look smaller it just still looks really nice and full curl pattern is there it's nicely defined this is the curl pattern that was under the frizz you know when you have little lits, little bits of frizz all over your hair it just your hair doesn't look the same anymore it just looks more like a big frizz ball but if you take your time and go through it you know just take your time and do it this is going to take a while it may take between depending on how fast you work and if you've done this before it should take you between 15 and 25 minutes so I do recommend that you take your time do it slowly and um, you get nice results you'll get your curl pattern back at least for another week or two weeks depending how often you wear your wig I again I wear Miko every day this is the same wig that I have worn since March 27th when I posted that video and so now I'm going to try this on for you guys so that you can see how it looks on me okay so I'm all done removing the frizz from the wig again let me show you this is it right here this is what I got from this time this week's cutting it's a lot it seems like a lot but um, if you do it at least once a week or once every two weeks you'll be able to maintain a lot of this frizz you won't have as much as this okay so now I'm going to put Mika on and just show you what she looks like without a lot of that surface frizz And I forgot to tell you guys, if you remember, if you watched the original review video, I told you that I had sewed combs in this wig and the combs are still there. And I didn't mention that to you. Especially if you're seeing Miko for the first time, I did sew combs into this. I sewed a comb in the front and then a comb went in the back. And this is Miko. And I uh, definitely can see more defined curl pattern, which is good. And as you can see, this wig has not lost a lot of its fullness by removing all that hair. This hair did not reduce the size of this wig at all. So let me just fix it up for you guys a little bit. Just blend out a little bit of my own natural hair. And just kind of comb it towards the front and over the natural hairline of the wig. And this is how I wear Miko. I've been wearing her now for two and a half, I'm sorry, for almost two months, but I've been wearing it now for about a month and a half straight. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I like removing the frizz from this wig a lot because it, it just makes the wig last so much longer and it makes it look prettier so much longer. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below or if you have any personal messages you can pm me personal message and um i'll get back to you as soon as i can so you take care and you be well and i'll see you at the next video bye bye